Hi guys, this is Mrs. Gassler, and in this lesson, we're going to be talking about drawing third law force diagrams. This is a must do, and it's lesson two. At the end of this lesson, you're going to be able to draw some force diagrams for two objects that are involved in an interaction and identify the action and reaction force pairs that are in the diagrams. And just to review, we're going to start by looking at what is happening. Uh, and we're going to look at Newton's third law and what it says. So we wrote this down last time in lesson one. And just to remember, it says that for every action force, there is an equal and opposite reaction force. And the way in which they're equal is in their size. So they're going to have the same magnitude. Remember, that's a fancy word. And they're opposite in their direction. So the, the which way those arrows are pointing. When we're drawing force diagrams, those arrows are going to be pointing in the opposite direction. Now, we've had some questions actually at the end of lesson two, or lesson one, some students were asking, why don't these forces cancel out? Um, well, that's a good a good question. Um, and hopefully after the end of this uh, lesson, it's gonna make a little bit more sense. Well, the reason they don't cancel out is because they don't act on the same object. Remember when we find the net force, which we started doing in, um, actually in unit four, the very first unit we had this semester, um, the forces that don't act on the same object, we don't add those together. When we find the net force, we find the the force on one object, okay? So we don't add them together if they're not on the same thing. So the reason we're drawing force diagrams is because it will help you um, see that they don't cancel out. And it will also help you find um, those force pairs, that action force and that reaction force is a force pair, and we're gonna be able to find that a little bit easier by drawing those force diagrams.